European Space Operations Center, ESOC, operates spacecraft and maintains ground facilities and expertise for the European Space Agency, ESA, and third-party customers. In the Navigation Support Office, teams of specialized engineers provide world-class products and services for very accurate satellite orbit determination through processing of high-precision data available from global navigation satellite systems and other measurement techniques. The American Global Positioning System, GPS, and the Russian GLONASS have been the leading providers of Global Navigation Satellite Systems, or GNSS. With the upcoming new European Galileo constellation and the Chinese Beidou, by 2020, the number of GNSS satellites in orbit will be around 120. All global navigation satellite systems are based on the idea of measuring the time it takes for signals to go from at least four satellites to the receiver. Combining this with additional information from the satellite, the user, with appropriate equipment, is able to calculate the position of the GNSS satellites and his own, based on the measurement of precise travel times of the signals, and therefore, distance. The core business of the Navigation Support Office is to perform precise orbit determination, calculating and predicting with very high accuracy the position, velocity and clock corrections of the many satellites composing the GNSS constellations. The orbit determination of a satellite uh, is based on um, different type of information. And um, if you're using basic uh, information, uh, then you can generate a moderate uh, accuracy of the orbit determination uh, ranging from uh, 5 to 10 meters. By including data from global distributed sensor stations around the Earth, and if you're processing this together with uh, accurate models, you will come up with a accuracy of the orbits in the order of 10 centimeter if you process it in real time and even one or two centimeters if you process it in offline. Once we have very accurate data about the satellite positions and clocks, we can greatly improve the precision of our own positioning on the ground. With the services of the Navigation Support Office, that can be achieved to the highest standards. The accuracy of this data is such that we can determine the position of global navigation satellites with a precision of one to two centimeters and their onboard clocks down to 0.1 nanoseconds. Once you have this very accurate information, you open up a world of applications and products from ground usage to weather offices and to support spacecraft navigation. Precise orbit determination for satellites like GPS, orbiting at an altitude of 20,000 kilometers, is easier than for satellites in low Earth orbit at a few hundred kilometers. This is because of the presence of the remaining Earth's atmosphere. The LEO satellites are subject to aerodynamic drag forces that slow them down continuously, affecting their orbital trajectories. The calculation of the precise orbit determination for low Earth orbiting satellites, LEOs, um, there are different type of techniques uh, which we use. For instance, we're using GNSS data, using satellite laser ranging, using Doppler orbitography and radio positioning integrated by satellite called DORIS. We're using also altimetry. Now, in order to get the utmost accuracy of these LEO orbits, we have to use very complex models and also have to have the best and most complex processing technologies. Most of ESA's Earth observation missions are in fact low Earth orbit. Precision in orbit determination is key in enhancing the value of the scientific data and getting the maximum valuable output. If you have very accurate positioning, you can measure the atmospheric propagation more accurately. These data are extremely useful to UMATSAT, for example, the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites. Benefits are going to be even greater with ESA's new generation of satellites, the Sentinels, that carry a range of technologies such as radar and multispectral imaging instruments for land, ocean and atmospheric monitoring. 
Another very special spacecraft that operates in low Earth orbit is ESA's Automated Transfer Vehicle that regularly resupplies the International Space Station ISS, with essential cargo deliveries like food, water and oxygen. Special support is provided during approach to ISS for precisely estimating the relative speed and in order to ensure safe docking. The range of user applications of the products of the Navigation Support Office is a fast-growing scenario. Not only the space business, but more and more ground-based customers start depending on the available services provided by ESA, with a lot of unexplored applications yet to come. Our services are already used in the scientific community for accurate analysis of geological data and earthquake studies. Japan, for example, is already fully covered with ground receivers constantly monitoring the micro-drifting of land masses. This is meant to improve understanding of how to detect incoming earthquakes. There are currently uh, two very interesting applications. One is um, a booming business in concerning precision farming. And here, um, having very precise uh, positioning data available, uh, meaning that you can have 10 centimeters accuracy in real time, um, then you can have automation of your machines. You can perform agriculture activities like uh, seeding, spraying, harvesting. And um, what you also can do, you can optimize your outputs and uh, you also can reduce your impact on the environment. Another application is um, the offshore oil and gas exploitation, meaning, uh, for instance, laying down of pipelines. Um, you have then approaches of vessels uh, to constructions, which uh, requests about 10 centimeters accuracy in real time in very harsh environment. And uh, our service, our real-time service, can exactly provide this. One important asset for this technology is a network of ESA-operated GNSS sensor stations providing global coverage. Each site has GNSS antennas, communications capabilities and atomic frequency standards. There are sensors in ESA establishments as well as in remote locations around the globe, all controlled real-time from ESOC. A very important point for the calculation of the precise orbits of the GNSS satellite is the precise knowledge of the ground stations and sensor stations. Now, how we're doing this is via uh, using range measurement from the GNSS satellite towards our ground stations. We're using then these global distributed ground stations and collecting this data, um, bringing it from our uh, distributed uh, sensor stations towards ESOC processing it here at ESOC and then calculate the precise orbits of the GNSS satellites and then disseminate this information back to the end users so that they can use it for their applications. ESA's Navigation Support Office is the leading center in Europe for GNSS services with products delivered automatically and reliably 24-7. What makes us and our products unique is a combination of using the highest quality software tools for data processing, our own global GNSS sensor station network, and very importantly, the experience of a highly committed team of 20 navigation engineers. We develop the processing algorithms. We understand where the criticalities are. Only in this way we can deliver the best and the most accurate timing and positioning information. Earth's ionosphere is a disturbing factor for navigation satellite signals such as GPS. Signals are transmitted by the satellites on two separate frequencies in order to be able to evaluate and cancel out the influence of the ionosphere. Based on the existence of um, two frequencies or more uh, at most of the GNSS systems, we have a kind of interesting byproduct. We can provide such global ionospheric maps to uh, space weather predictions, scientists and uh, also to the uh, ECNOS which is used uh, for the European Civil Navigation. Thanks to accurate ground station positions over time, many geodetic models have been improved, contributing to fundamental geology and geophysics. 
In this way, ESA helps provide an accurate representation of the geoid, an Earth reference model that takes into account the complex aspects describing our planet, including its gravitational field. A global positioning system of this complexity and precision requires a performance monitoring tool. This is one of the services offered by the Navigation Support Office. Thanks to the high level of redundancy, we can immediately realize if there's something wrong in the data that we constantly acquire. For example, in 2013, we detected a series of clock jumps of the order of three nanoseconds in one of the GPS satellites. The high accuracy of our tools allowed us to immediately identify and isolate the problem. In fact, the defective satellite was temporarily put out of service, then reconfigured and put back into operation. Currently, the Navigation Support Office intends to increase its capabilities for high-precision satellite formation flying and also satellite constellations. We're doing this via specific research and development activities and having as an aim uh, to maintain leadership in the world of some activities and also to keep on supporting ESA and European industry with our cutting-edge know-how and also the technologies.